tell me about how the uh, American Canyon Community and Parks Foundation got started. Well, the foundation got started in 2015 by a dedicated group of community volunteers. Uh, there was an interest in developing a nonprofit to support our parks department and make parks improvement projects. And so myself and another parks commissioner, Matt Plate, we spearheaded the effort and worked with our city parks department and got a group of volunteers together to serve as our first board. And since then, we've grown ever since. And tell me about this project, the Fitness Zone. The Fitness Center was one of the first big projects that we raised funds for, and it's turned out to be an incredible asset to the community. We kicked off fundraising for it in 2017 at our Evening at the Ruins fundraising event, and we raised $50,000 to purchase the equipment. We worked with the City of American Canyon to have the location confirmed, as well as Stravinsky Development Group to do the grading and the concrete pad needed to put the equipment in. Uh, so it was a great partnership project because between the city, between a private developer, and between the foundation, we really brought everything together and we were able to execute a project that served hundreds if not thousands of people right off the bat and has been incredibly popular ever since we put it in. And tell me about the Eco Center that you want to build. The Eco Center is our next big project and it will be a natural extension of all the programming that we've been doing in, around environmental education. Uh, the location of the site is actually right behind us, right along our beautiful wetlands area, and it's a repurposed project. So together with the City of American Canyon, we're getting ready to enter into a lease to repurpose the site from their former courtyard into a community-facing ecology center. So the ecology center will be a home for environmental education, nature art, outdoor science, and perhaps even support local research related to climate change or sea level rise. And the great thing about it is it's walking distance to two elementary schools, a middle school, our Boys and Girls Club, as well as hundreds of local residents. Um, it's also along the Napa River Bay Trail, so it's just really well situated to be a regional asset for the whole entire area.